celebration and kickoff for marriage equality. I'm really thrilled that so many people on a rather tough day with the weather have come out to support Equality Maryland and to support one of our key legislative goals, marriage equality. Um, and before we get started with the speakers, I just wanted to say for a moment, I think, remind us sort of why kind of we're here today. Um, I think marriage equality is important for many reasons. You know, when I testified before the Senate, the state Senate, one of the things I remember I mentioned and I thought about was that people, you know, when they're in committed relationships like I am with my partner, shouldn't have to worry when someone like my partner breaks his wrist, as he seems to do so regularly breaking tennis, in tennis. Um, always wanted to embarrass Eric publicly. I'm glad I've now had the chance. Um, but, you know, I should have had to worry that when I went to the hospital about whether or not I should be allowed to visit him. And there's a lot of other rights that I think couples take for granted that same-sex couples now have to think about every day in a different way. But I'd have been equally important is that our relationship should be entitled by right and by law to the same dignity and public recognition as all committed marriages in which people stick by each other through better and the worse do. If you look at the wonderful wedding cake that's uh, behind there, and I hope you'll all stick around and have a piece after we're done here, you'll see photos of all sorts of families and couples. And I didn't put up a photo of Eric and myself, because although we've been together for so long, uh, just over 13 years now, um, we've actually never held a ceremony, legal or otherwise. And my hope is that we'll soon be able to do so in Maryland with many of our family and friends who are here tonight. Um, and let me tell you, I happen to know that my parents who are over there would really like to see a wedding. So, um, so that's why I'm so grateful that so many of you have joined to support Equality Maryland. I'm particularly grateful to our honored guests tonight, who we'll get to in a moment, who have backed up their commitment, not just by taking the time to come here tonight, but by working to raise funds for our organization. Um, and so I'm, I'm really grateful to all of them. Uh, before I recognize some of the politicians here tonight, and one of the things that pleases me so much is that we have so much of the legislature here tonight that I almost think we should just pass marriage here. <laughs> Um, but um, I want to say I'm sorry that Howard County Executive Ken Ullman and Comptroller Peter Franchot are unable to join us today. Uh, they asked me to convey their very strong support for equality, and I also want to thank them for their sponsorship of this event. Each of them donated over $1,000 to Equality Maryland. <laughs> But before we get to our special guests, I did want to recognize um, some of the many politicians in the room, and let me apologize in advance for those of you who I miss. But before I even get to them, I want to recognize the other four board members of Equality Maryland who have been tremendous in helping to rebuild this organization. So Lisa Poliak, Patrick Woyan, Rosemary Nicolosi, and Mark Yost, I hope you'll wave and take a bow for a second. I also want to recognize the, the most important officials in the room, and those are the municipal officials. Um, um, I want to I uh, particularly recognize particularly Pat Baptiste, the person who's the chair of the Board of Managers in, in Chevy Chase Village, and, and the person who I can thank for arranging for all the tickets you get on Connecticut Avenue or from her town, not mine. But, <laughs> And I've gotten my share, so I should know. I also want to thank my fellow council members here on the board, uh, Pat Berta, who did so much work helping set up tonight, Linda Barnes and Kathy Strom. Um, I want to thank so many of the legislators and council people here tonight. But first, I want to thank um, Ike Leggett, our county executive, who's the honorary chair of our health committee. I should also mention, Ike also donated $1,000, and I think that deserves another uh, Thank you, Mr. County Executive. It's always a pleasure to have you in the town hall. Um, 
Gosh, where to begin? Um, tremendous champion of marriage, Senator Jamie Raskin. <laughs> Delegate on proud to work to elect Bonnie Cullison. <laughs> the chair of our county's House delegation, Brian Feldman. Um, another person who's worked tremendously to raise a lot of money here tonight, so let's please thank Heather Mazier. Um, my own state senator and a tremendous advocate for marriage, uh, Senator Rich Maddalino. One also recognized Delegate Kirill Resnick. Delegate Susan Lee from Bethesda. Delegate Jeff Waldstreicher. Senator Roger Mano. Delegate Kumar Barbe. Kumar, I should also mention, has also given over $1,000 and also helped us raise even more. So Kumar, special thanks to you. Kumar has also been the, not only the House Majority Leader, but the sponsor of the Marriage Equality Bill in the House. Um, I don't want to forget, of course, uh, one of my own delegates, um, another great champion, Delegate Al Carr. Um, Delegate Ariana Kelly, who... I want, I want to mention actually is helping to raise the money with her daughter as part of a mitzvah project and I just want to say mom and dad I thought you would put me through bar mitzvah help but you never made me raise money so thank you. Um, Ariana even more thanks to you. You're terrific. Delegate Aruna Miller um, from District 15. We also have several members of the county council here. I want to particularly thank uh, council member Nancy Florine, who's been a really great supporter, came up to testify. <laughs> Always good to see uh, council member Hans Riemer right here. on the list did not get recognized. I apologize. Delegate Ann Kaiser, a tremendous friend of mine. Uh, and I think I also, did I also forget Delegate Susan Lee, I believe? Yes. <laughs> the best for last. Um, who, who else am I missing here? Mark. Councilmember Mark Elridge. Gosh. One of our hosts, uh, Delegate Tom Hucker. Um, I also want to recognize some members of our central committee here, Gabe Albornoz. And I particularly want to recognize, last but not least, I believe, um, Marjorie Goldman, who helped me tremendously organize this event, who's on our central committee and a real asset, so thank you. And actually, last but not least, Karen McManus, who uh, has come to represent uh, Chris Van Hollen, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight. But um, frankly, can I tell you all, just between all of us, I'd much rather have Karen. <laughs> so without further ado, I believe I will, um, oh, Mackie Bart from Kensington. And I believe Senator Cardin's office has sent Ken Reicher to represent him as well, so thank you. Senator.